So, so is every letter. So everything <laughs> is geometry. Of course, God that has been described by the European Mathematical Society as being a geometric dynamic, a geometro dynamic dynamic uh, uh, study of or uh, form of unified field theory. Unify field theory. Theory. Except it's not a theory, it's a theorem. Okay? But that's what that's a classification by the European Mathematical Society that it's a geometrodynamic, meaning it is a geometry way to view the universe. Which is uh, kind of on the surface look like it's different from the kinetic way of viewing the universe or the quantum approach of dealing with the universe. Okay? But there is a relationship. Okay? There is a relationship. So, uh, which, and as you can see, part of the relationship are being demonstrated by Gagat explaining the, the origin of this. Oh, uh, yeah, well, you were talking about geometry. I'm defining geometry and I'm giving examples, okay? Uh, as a way of defining geometry. Geometry is the science of shapes, okay? Uh, it turned out that it is, according to Gaga, that is, that's it. Mm -hmm. It's about shapes, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's what all mathematics is. And I'll give you just a little flavor uh, if, I, if I can, okay? But I'm, I was also saying that the European Mathematical Society have classified Gagat as a geometrodynamic form of a unified field theory. Okay? Uh, or a geometrodynamic description of the universe. That's the classification of Gagat by the European Mathematical Society. Okay? Um, and that, of course, uh, it's going to be explained when I get to the core of Gagat in terms of what is Gagat as such, okay? What I've told you so far is what has Gagat done, okay? <laughs> Before you get to know, you know, the, the, what really Gagat is, mm -hmm. okay? I guess, I hope people are not talking about, thinking about, well, you're going around. No, we're not going around. You see what the, the theorem does first, mm -hmm. Okay? That's, then, then you see, in effect, you know, uh, what it, it, it is in reality. But we're trying to get there, and we're trying to bring along with us uh, the ingredients that basically summarize Gaga, that, you know, made Gaga possible, okay? It's ancient African origins, okay? We've got to bring that along so we don't, you know, because that forms a basis uh, of comparison for us in terms of, you know, existing theories that you need to verify if you are coming up with a new theory, which in this case we call a theorem. So geometry is very, very important. It came out as a result of an attempt by ancient Africans to glorify the Almighty God for the gift of chemistry. Okay? Uh, you know, they wanted to build an edifice. The subject geometry was developed, as we know it. The geometry has always been, has always been there, you know, shapes and so on, because human itself is a shape, it's a geometric shape, okay? Yes, you have, you know, all these nice curves and all that. That's geometric shape, a curve, okay? Studying a curve is studying geometry. Now, to see why there is nothing beside geometry to mathematics, uh, you've been told about. Uh, w would I be correct to say that geometry is a system of measuring, um, defining, determining uh, the boundaries? Between? Well, it's the study of shapes, okay? Study of shapes. That's basically what geometry is. Yeah, okay. Shapes. The study of shapes. Yes, that's basically what it is, okay? It's simple language. You can talk all kinds of, 
all those things. The reason why I said numbers and tried to put that into it is because when we think of measurement, yes. we think of numbers. Well, the, yeah, but measurement is shape. <laughs> You're talking about shape in measurement. A lion is a shape, okay? Yeah, you know, the reason you're making a measurement is because there's some kind of shape there. Right. <laughs> so the study of shape, the measuring is part of the study itself. Right. Okay. So, but this is what happens. Your arithmetic, okay, evolved from geometry f from this line here, which is, this is a geometric entity. A line is a geometric entity. Okay? That's a shape. A line is a shape. Rhythmic came out of this. The entire rhythmic is on this line here. If you like, you can have a reference point you call zero. Mm -hmm. And the rest goes to, 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 want, that's right, infinity. And then if you go back this way, because if you, if you, if you can, if you have monies, you can owe money as well. So when you owe money, of course, you have a minus. Okay? It's a matter of convenience. Okay? Right to minus infinity. Okay? Mm -hmm. This line summarizes the entire arithmetic. Arithmetic. Okay? Mm -hmm. But that's just linear counting. Oh no. Arithmetic. Arithmetic is numbers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's all some that's all you can put it into some kind of language to ask a question. Ultimately, you're going to get numbers. That's arithmetic. No matter what, what else are you going to do? You add two numbers, you subtract, right? You, what else are you going to do in arithmetic? You do accounting, the end figure is, is number. Mm -hmm. It's all on this line. This is, this is arithmetic here, this line here. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's all. There's nothing else. Well, I was just trying to associate that with measuring. Oh, yeah, no, see, the measurement part of that is taking this line here and cutting this portion here and say, well, this represents one unit. That's measurement. Mm -hmm. That's your measurement. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you call this here, you drew this here, and you say, and it's, it's arbitrary. You know, they use human foot to talk about foot, <laughs> a foot, a measurement, an inch, some other characteristics, and all those are arbitrary. There's nothing that was sent directly from God to, to be that and only that way. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, but uh, technically you can cut this line into portions, all kinds of portions. Mm -hmm. Okay? They could represent uh, uh, real numbers, you know, integers, uh, whole numbers, uh, uh, you know, rational numbers, and all kinds of numbers are represented there. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, so therefore, so that's arithmetic. When you begin operating with arithmetic and you want to generalize results, okay, for example, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. That's still on this line here. In other words, when you add two integers, okay, mm -hmm. you get another integer. Okay? Right. So, I instead of saying 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, which is an integer, and then you say, okay, 4 plus 5 is also another integer called 9. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right? Okay? And, you know, instead of doing that, you put it in a, 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 a symbolic form. A plus B is equal to C. Mm -hmm. Provided that A and B and C are integers, this sums up all similar operations that you're doing here. In arithmetic. Yes, but you only have one line instead of a billion possible lines. This will be called algebra. This is algebra. When you do this, you represent numbers which is on this geometry line as symbols, generic symbols, okay? Mm -hmm. Then you're doing algebra. So algebra is nothing but arithmetic in, in symbol, symbol, with symbols. Mm -hmm. That's what algebra is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if arithmetic came from geometry, then algebra automatically came from geometry. Right. So is there anything else? All is geometry. Mm -hmm. 
again, this, it's, it's out there for anybody to take exceptions to, but that's it right there. Mm -hmm. As long as this is algebra and this is geom uh, arithmetic, then arithmetic came from this number line here, which is geometry, and algebra, which came out of arithmetic, comes from geometry as well. Mm -hmm. Case closed. Okay? So that's how we say geometry is indeed the real math, which came into existence as a result of a glorification, a building of edifice by the ancient Africans to glorify the Almighty God for the gift of chemistry. Okay? All right. So how do, so how do you know this to be true? Well, you know this to be true on the basis, on the simple basis, that uh, when you were in high school studying geometry, what was the most popular shape that you dealt with? Um, yes? Pyramid. Yes, the pyramid or a triangle, which is basically a section of a pyramid. This is indeed a pyramid. Okay, you call it a triangle, but it's a section of a pyramid. Okay, triangle. That's the most popular. So it is not accidental that the triangle is a section of a pyramid. Mm -hmm. and, and the people that built the pyramid, the ancient Africans, definitely didn't jump into building of the pyramid in a rush. They did not rush into doing that. They studied it. They studied the science behind it because the pyramid is considered the most precise structure in the entire history of the universe, or certainly this Earth that we know, okay? The most precise, precise, okay? Most precise structure. Structure ever built, okay, ever built, okay? Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, it's so precise and way, I mean, nothing in New York or any of the big cities can match the precision of pyramids. And one of such precision is, for example, having a line or a section of a pyramid that will be 90 degrees. How you could build stuff like that, that's part of, that's a challenge. To put this wall up to be 90 degrees takes a challenge, okay? Mm -hmm. But with a, a, geom a geometry science fully developed, you can do that because if you have this side, okay, you want this to be perpendicular, 90 degrees, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. All right. And this is 20,000 years ago we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you made this side four and that side three units, Okay, and that side five, this is exactly 90 degrees. And that's the kind of precision that you find in a pyramid. This will be 90 degrees. If this unit, this is four, and this is five, and this is three, this will be 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, so you can see the, this is not approximation. You know, as long as you can have those units together, you will get a 90 degrees, you know, column. Okay. So and this is the this is typically the kind of precision that you know overwhelms anybody that cares to check the pyramid out. That it meant one of the guys that witnessed that and was touched by it was an English author called Graham Hancock. Graham um, Hancock. Okay, it's an English author who went to examine the pyramid, and what he saw by way of precision was so overwhelming to him that he concluded that the pyramid couldn't possibly have been built by human beings. He believed that the pyramids were built by the gods. So the book that he wrote about that experience was called The Fingerprints of the Gods. Fingerprints of the Gods. Referring to the ancient Africans as the gods, because we know the ancient Africans built that structure, okay? <laughs> but that is, that's how he was taught, the fingerprints of the gods, okay? So that's the kind of precision that does not come out of some kind of a, a slapdash job, okay? Mm -hmm. 
It has something that has been studied and fully uh, uh, you know, tested and so on. So it's like building a raft.